In this tutorial, we will learn how to integrate ADX2 to a Unity project. With the Cryware Unity plugin, it's very easy to integrate ADX2 to your Unity game. First, open your Unity project. Go to the Assets menu and select Import Package. Click on the Custom Package menu command and browse to the Cryware plugin package file located in the Cryware slash SDK slash Unity slash plugin folder. Select the package file and click on the Open button. The Import Unity package window appears. Simply click on the Import button. The Cry menu appears in the Unity menu bar. Now we can use the Cryware components. The components in the CryAtom group are related to the sound playback. The Cryware library initializer component is used to configure Cryware. The Cryware error handler component enables the notification of the warnings and errors in Unity. The components related to the sound system in the CryAtom group are CryAtom, CryAtom source, and CryAtom listener. The CryAtom component controls the whole sound system. It will be created automatically when adding your first CryAtom source to your project. A CryAtom source component is an audio trigger that you can add to any Unity game object. Finally, the CryAtom listener is used in conjunction with the CryAtom source components for 3D audio positioning. We're all set for now, and it's time to add sounds in Unity. Before going further, make sure you watched our previous tutorial on how to build your audio project in AtomCraft. Once we have exported the QSheet binary files from AtomCraft, we need to import it into our Unity project. First, go to the Cry menu and select the Open Cry Atom window command. The Cry Atom window appears. Click on the Use Copy Assets folder checkbox. Click on the Select Assets Root button. Now, browse to your AtomCraft export folder where the QSheet binary files are. and click on the Select Folder button. The specified path appears here to confirm it is valid. Click on the Update Assets of CryAtomCraft button. The Streaming Assets folder should now appear under the Assets tab. Click on it to see what cue sheets are now available in your project. Let's add an initialization module and an error handling module to our project. Go to the Cry menu in the Unity menu bar and select Create Cryware Library Initializer. The Cryware Library Initializer appears in the hierarchy window. Let's do the same for the Cryware Error Handler. Great, we don't need to change any options right now. We are now going to create a CryAtom source, which is all we need to play a sound in Unity. Play the scene and then go to the Cry menu. Select Open CryAtom window and click on the Reload Info button. In the Cue Sheet section, select a Cue Sheet and then choose the Cue to play, here. Stop the scene and finally click on the Create Game Object button. A new CryAtom source is now present in the scene. Click on it. Check Play on Start and deselect 3D Positioning in the Inspector. Save your scene and press play to hear your cue. As you can see, you can easily change the volume and the pitch of the cue in the inspector. Let's adjust the pitch and press play again. Indeed, the pitch has changed. Of course, you can also add a cue to an existing game object. Select this cube object, for example. In the inspector, press on the Add Component button. In the list, click on Cryware and then choose CryAtom Source. The sound source has been added to the cube object and you can play it too. 
This concludes our first tutorial on the integration of ADX2 into a Unity project. In a later tutorial, we will talk about more advanced features of the integration.